Ruth made one final trip on behalf of American Legion Baseball, then entered Memorial Hospital, where he would die. He was never told he had cancer, but before his death, had surmised it. He was able to leave the hospital for a few short trips, including a final visit to Baltimore. On July 26, 1948, Ruth left the hospital to attend the premiere of the film The Babe Ruth Story. Shortly thereafter, Ruth returned to the hospital for the final time. He was barely able to speak. Ruth's condition gradually became worse, only a few visitors were allowed to see him, one of whom was National League President and future Commissioner of Baseball Ford Frick. Ruth was so thin it was unbelievable. He had been such a big man and his arms were just skinny little bones, and his face was so haggard, Frick said years later. Thousands of New Yorkers, including many children, stood vigil outside the hospital in Ruth's final days. On August 16, 1948, at 8.01 p.m., Ruth died in his sleep at the age of 53. Instead of a wake at a funeral home, his casket was taken to Yankee Stadium, where it remained for two days, 77,000 people filed past to pay him tribute. His funeral mass took place at St. Patrick's Cathedral, a crowd estimated at 75,000 waited outside. Ruth was buried next to his second wife, Claire, on a hillside in Section 25 at the Gate of Heaven Cemetery in Hawthorne, New York.